So today we're going to be talking about the plant use by the Seminole Florida tribes. Um, there's many tribes within Florida, but everybody knows that Seminoles is the largest one. So that's what I decided to focus on. Um, the plants that they used, um, I found to be Red Bay, and that is still common in uh, North Florida. It is known to be a tall evergreen shrub with pale yellow flowers, and it thrives in a more warm atmosphere, which of course is all we have in Florida and a lot of semi-tropical areas as well. Um, the Native American uses, um, they were used to treat fevers. It was used as an analgesic to get rid of some pain. Um, as you can see there, it says about the rheumatic joints and painful limbs that is still used. Um, it's used rarely today for medicines, but it still can be used um, as a feature in some medicines to treat those uh painful joints and everything like that. But mostly today, the woods of the Red Bay are used for um, cabinet works and lumber. And um, it also can treat a decreased appetite and diarrhea. The next plant that they use is the button snake root. The first thing I saw throughout their use through all this was actually for rattlesnake venom. It is a perennial wildflower and has a succulent type appearance, as you can see from the picture above. It looks very cactus-like, but cactus-like, excuse me, but it grows from the green plant. And you can I actually found a picture of them harvesting in the area of where they would find them in those palms and uh, cypress trees and everything like that and a lot of pine trees as well. Um, it's found in the flatwoods and the sand hills, so really dry areas which are pretty common in Florida even though it is as wet as it is. Um, and excuse me, um, <clears throat> it can be used for a number of things. They used it as, this is another analgesic, another pain medication. It can be used for back and limb pain, as well as colic and abdominal pain. And colic was not really diagnosed back then, but when their babies were very uncomfortable, they would use it to treat their colic. As I said earlier, it is as rattlesnake venom. They found that out very early. And two other very interesting things that I found is that they use the roots to treat neuralgia, which is a pressure on the trigeminal nerve um, where it enters, where the where this nerve enters in the brainstem, and that is 100% still used today. And the leaves can be used to actually um, flavor some soups and also treat dysentery, which is an infection of the intestines. So it can be used kind of as that analgesic to treat fevers and discomfort in your ab abdomen and everything like that. Um, Today, it's mostly used on top of um, the analgesics and the neuralgia. It can be used as sore throats, and that's and it's in a mixture and a serum where you can gurgle it. And it is also used as an insect repellent inside of some types of pulpery. Um, I also found, one last thing is that I also found that it can be used in a facial serum as like an anti-aging um, factor and like creams and stuff that a lot of people use today. And that's my references. Thank you.